Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbet here with MajorGeeks.com and recently someone asked me about which drive cleaner to use. We have a video on Wise Disc Cleaner, C Cleaner, Privisor and also there's Bleach Bit and they're kind of wondering which one to use. If you're not sure and you're just an average computer user, I'd jump right into Storage Sense. That's included with Windows 10. It's very hard to find. It's poorly named. It's poorly located, but you can kind of set it or forget it or make a couple of tweaks to it and see if it suits your needs before you go and download a third-party app. That's up to you. Again, this is more for the average computer user, your daily user, not you know those geeky guys. So what you want to do is press your Windows key plus S or if you have search open, just start typing storage and you'll see storage setting once again, poorly named, poorly located. So storage sense, you'd have to turn it on here. You can configure it here and you can also by clicking show more categories it'll show you what is being found. So what you want to basically do is click turn it on and then configure storage sense or run it now. So as you can see you have your options here. You can run it during load disk space. You can change it to every day, every week, or every month. Every month should be enough for everybody if, or every week. I, I'd like to see every two weeks in there but again I just don't think it's really well set up but it does work. Temporary files that your apps aren't using. Empty your recycle bin changes which is handy as well because you may not know where that setting was. So that's up to you from never to 60 days, a good number of settings right there. And your download folders, I've seen quite a few computers I've worked on where they have just dozens of files. They download them, they use them, they install them, and then they just forget about them. So don't bypass this one. I would say 60 days, 30 days, whatever, it depends on what you're doing. So then you can just forget about your downloads folder. And of course, free up space now. Another neat thing here is you can delete a previous version of Windows but odds are, once that's checked, it can be done every so often automatically. But if you've upgraded to Windows 10 or maybe you had a major update, a lot of times people are trying to get rid of these files. And we have some guides on some of the folders, at least behind Sys Reset, Windows BT, different stuff like that. Hopefully that will get rid of it. I haven't really used it because, frankly, I use CCleaner or wise disk cleaner which I like a lot so what we want to do is just get you started and if you want to run it you can just go ahead and click clean now right here I don't have a ton of files on here but just to give you an idea so that's where you get to it to run it and again when you move on we have some links here in this article as always linked to in the video description and everything we just discussed is here. Down here we have the links to Wise Disk Cleaner, C Cleaner, Privisor, whichever you want to use. Now this is my recommendations for you. If you want to get rid of this, go back to the settings. If you're going to manage it yourself, turn it off. But you can see we got rid of a lot of space here. And come over to here and go ahead and grab either Wise, C Cleaner, Privisor. And here's the way I would do it. C Cleaner is probably the most popular, well-known pretty conservative it offers to install a vast on installation please don't do that wise disk cleaner is really one of my favorites because it's basically free there's also a video on all these pages so you can watch me do a video comparing all three of them which is better wise disk cleaner is going to get more junk out than c cleaner i've never had a problem with it so that would be the order which i would do it i would consider C cleaner and get the portable versions if you can like this goes right to the portable so if you change your mind you can just delete it and not worry about installation uninstallation and basically there's a link here where you see the word portable if you don't know what a portable file is please read that and why you should always use a portable file when available so once again C cleaner would be the first thing I would jump to if you're kind of a you know daily I, I don't know what to you what, what to call you um, your average PC user you use your PC you expect it to do things for you and that's it you don't not interested in learning about computers you just want it to work now as i mentioned you can bump up c cleaner by using cc enhancer again you can find these links as you go cc enhancer is a set of rules that allows it to get more junk out however once again i would probably jump to c cleaner if that works for you great if not why is disk cleaner going to get a lot more files and finally, Privisor, which is really kind of hardcore. It's safe. 
I've never had a problem with, boy, does it remove a lot of junk. So there's the order I do it in. However, the storage sense has come a long way, as I mentioned, except for its stupid name and location and trying to find it. Uh, it's come a long way, but if you set it and forget it, you're, you're all set. So just go in there and decide when you want to run it. Clean up when you want. That's up to you. So really, for your average everyday user, just use the storage sense. It'll get you going. We're probably the only download site in the world that tries to keep you from downloading files. It's not for everybody. You really want to know what you're getting. And I wouldn't waste time downloading three different drive cleaning apps when you've got one built right into Windows unless you really, really need it. And also, CCleaner is a startup manager, registry cleaner. So you get a lot of extra tools and these other things that you may not need personally. So once again, you know, to everyday users. So there you go. Start out with storage sense. That's not enough for you to do C cleaner. That's not enough for you to throw wise disc cleaner on there and you want to go nuts, go privisor or bleach bit. So hopefully we helped some of you out who were unfamiliar with what you want to use for drive cleaners. And we'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes and all your subscribes as always. And hopefully we'll see you again soon, but without any problems. See ya.